Hello my quilting friends, Leah Day here with a new machine quilting design. A few months ago we learned how to quilt a design called Light Spiral. We did it on a very large scale for our dancing butterfly quilt. Today I'd like to teach you how to quilt a design on a smaller scale, really punch up the intensity of all those thread painted lights. I think it's going to make a great design to play with for Christmas. So let's get on the machine and see how this design works in free motion. So you can see how Light Spiral looks already stitched on a small scale. It's a very tight design, a lot of travel stitching, a lot of thread play with these beautiful dots of color. And so here's how to stitch it. I'm going to swing out into a spiral and then I'm going to kind of curl inside. And as I curl inside, I'm going to form a circle shape and then just keep swinging around and around and around until that circle shape fills up entirely with thread. Now I'm going to travel stitch carefully back along that line and then branch out and form another spirally shape. I'm going to fill that light up and then travel stitch back. It's a little bit of a time consuming design simply because of that travel stitching and of course the thread painting too is a little time consuming. Definitely watch out as you're stitching this area and filling that in. Don't just keep going around and around and around, you might end up breaking your thread if you build up too many layers in one area. Just go around, you know, maybe three times is probably plenty. A lot of times when I'm stitching this design, I'll kind of form one kind of a little lower, one a little bit higher, and then just branch out right through the middle for the next shape. That works just fine. And I managed to have a lot of space for my a little light, so I had to fill that in several times. That looks good. And then travel stitching, just want to really be careful with your speed control. Just slow down, put a little bit less pressure on your foot pedal, and that way you can maintain good control. Now, what if you get stuck in an area? Like right here, this was too narrow to really form anything. I just filled that in by wiggling through it. Now I'm going to travel stitch back, just kind of pretending that there's a hole light spiral shape back here where it's cut off, you know? I'm just pretending it's there, so I travel stitch back and branch out. Just keep the design consistent, that's the key. You know, it really doesn't matter uh, what it looks like, you know, um, as far as how you fill in those weird gap areas. The best way to know what to do is put your hand on the design and just see what it looks like when it's partially cut off and then do something like that in those weird areas and that's going to look just fine. You can shrink these shapes down quite a bit and really get them in all the nooks and crannies of your quilt. See how much I shrunk that one down? And I'll keep this one really pretty small too. I really love this design. I think it's very festive. I think if you stitched it in metallic thread, I think it would be a really big hit on your quilt. So that's it for Light Spiral. I really hope that you enjoy learning how to quilt this beautiful design. As for where it's gonna work best, it's really gonna work anywhere on your quilt. You can expand it and make it really big and cover a lot of surface with every spiral you stitch, or you can shrink it down as I did in this block and stitch it on a really small scale. It can kinda tuck into all those nooks and crannies. I think it'll be a really cool design to stitch your Christmas and holiday themed quilts up a notch. So definitely give it a try during this festive time of the year. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos so you don't miss out on any of the cool quilting designs coming out every week. Until next time, let's go quilt.